welcome back to another rat breeding and care video and mice now. If you're new to the channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and go check out our Instagram pages where I post daily original photos of our life, our animals, and everything in between. So uh, I just got done cleaning out our rats and our mice and I just wanted to talk about a few things, show some updates, show some babies, some cool things that are new in our colony for us. All right, so the first thing is, is I had to go buy some more of these sticks that come in a bundle. And these are just apple wood sticks. And these are by Osboro. I get these from our local pet station. It's kind of a smaller, um, a smaller branch pet store. Um, I believe you can find these on Chewy.com. And there's different brands in PetSmart and your local pet code too. Um, but yeah, they're just these sticks that they can chew on. And then I ended up getting some of these kind of shorter ones. Um, they come out to the same price, even if you were to cut them. And these are to put in our maternity rack for some of the babies, um, that are just getting old enough to be able to chew on these things because these are way too big for those. So I'm going to go ahead and put some of these in our rack and then we are going to talk about some of the rats. All right. To start, I cleaned this morning and I pulled this mama out because she was looking very plump and I thought she was going to give birth soon. And sure enough, we went to run some errands. And as you can see, there's a little bit of blood and there's a few babies back there. She is in the process of having babies right now. There's only a few that have come out. So I'm gonna leave her be to finish birthing her litter. Okay, so let's give these guys some sticks. Look, I just cleaned and they've already made giant poopies. These ones have their eyes open already. Hi, little fella. So that's why I want to provide them with some sticks is because they are going to need to start grinding down their teeth. Here, mama, some sticks. Mamas like them too. Here, we'll give you a couple. Everybody's tired from this morning's cleanings. All right, mama. All right, and then we are also going to give some to these ones. Um, real quick, I am still using these little water bottles um, because I went to order all of the things we needed for our watering system, and they were out of stock on a particular part. And I don't want to order everything and not that part because um, with our size order, we get free shipping. And if I were to leave that part out, I would have to pay for shipping for that particular part. So we're waiting for that part to come back in stock before we place our order. So yeah, we've just purchased these. These are only a couple bucks at our local store. So it's not that big of a deal. All right. So let's give these, these ones have just barely opened their eyes. Hi mama. Are they eating back there? So we're gonna go ahead and give them a few sticks. Oh, there they are. And I'm actually gonna move mama over real quick because I actually wanted to show you a few of these babies. All right, now that I got mama out. So this little baby is a female and it is an albino. They just opened their eyes and there's actually another one back there. So there's two albinos in this small little litter. This was the mama who didn't have very many. A lot of her litter passed away because they were runty. But those two are albinos. And then this little girl, oh, is she so cute? This little girl is almost completely black, her tail and everything. Let me see if I can, I'm trying to be gentle with you, honey. She just has a little white mark on her belly and that's it. All right, I'll put mama back in there. Here, mama. Hey, I move mama because sometimes they get a little nippy. Come on, go back in there with your babies. There you go. Nope. Let's close you up. <laughs> Watch your tail, honey. There you go. So I thought that the father of these babies was our black big bubba. And so I was wondering how we got albino babies because albinism, al albinism, albinoism um, is a recessive trait that has to be passed on from the parents, just like blue eyes. Both parents have to be a carrier of the blue eye gene or they have to be have the physical trait. It kind of works the same way. And so we don't have that in any of our other babies, none of our holdbacks. And this was a holdback mama 
And so I'm, I was kind of racking my brain, like how could we have possibly gotten albino babies? And then I remembered, <laughs> our albino females that gave birth. We ended up having one male left um, that we kept because it needed to be a live feeder for one of our snakes that only eats live. And we didn't want to leave him by himself until the following week. So what we ended up doing is we put him with three females and we figured, hey, if he got them pregnant, then so be it. It wasn't that big of a deal. Well, as the weeks passed, he ended up getting one female pregnant, but then the other ones weren't. And so we put the other male back in there and I thought that this, that her litter came from Bubba. Well, I don't think it did. I think it came from the other male. So we ended up with some more albino females. So I thought that was kind of neat. So our albinos have currently been bred by Bubba. And so they are the ones that popped out all black babies last time. So I'm kind of interested to see what their young are gonna look like this time. But I think I'm gonna end up holding back a male to breed with our albinos so we can get more albinos because I think they're really neat and interesting. So I'm kind of curious to see as our colony grows and progresses, what other things are gonna pop out. So it's always fun. All right, so a lot of our females need sticks. How are you guys? You guys don't have any sticks. So let's give you a few. And they have already eaten all their veggies and cheese. I usually try to provide one stick per week for our females. And believe it or not, these albino females are pregnant. If you can see just a little bit of roundness in their belly, they're actually very slender compared to our other rats, which is kind of interesting. What are you doing, honey? Hello. <laughs> so something, something else that's really cool that we kind of changed up in our colony is we are going to be building some more racks because a lot of our bins are filled up now. Whereas before we like to keep two um, open on the bottom for holdbacks, all of these are full except for that one bottom one right there. So... What we ended up doing is we said we were gonna hold back a male from our cream mama. Where are you guys? Hi. Look at all you guys. And so what we ended up doing, sorry, here you guys need another stick too. Let's give you a couple more. So what I ended up doing is I pulled the male today and let's go check him out. If I can get this in here. So what I ended up doing is I put him with some of our holdback females from our albino mamas. Hi ladies. And there he is paired with his first ladies. Are you guys treating my boy nice? Hi. Here, you guys need some more sticks too. I need to go get him a tube to hide in from them. But yeah, they are they are just barely up to weight for breeding size, so I thought that would be a good opportunity to pair him with them since he's only a tad bit smaller for his first uh, round of breeding. I can't wait to see what kind of babies they produce and it'll kind of help us uh, see what kind of genetics he carries too. If we end up getting some albinos, we'll know that he carries an albino gene as well. And our other male Bubba is actually in the back there. He's hard to see. There we go. There's a little light. He is back there and he is paired to these females for this time around. But one thing that I wanted to touch on in this video is when we got Bubba, he was already a little bit bigger. We do not know how old he was or is at this point. Um, rats typically will live anywhere from two and a half to three years old. Now we have noticed a decline in our babies. Preg uh, we've noticed a decline in our females getting pregnant. And I have also observed him getting a little more sluggish. He seems to be a little bit slower, kind of like an old man. So this is one of the reasons I've started introducing some males because I have a feeling our poor little Bubba is just getting old 
and he is not impregnating the females like he did when we first got him. Now we've had our rat colony now for, shoot, nine months. We're kind of closing in on a year now. Hey, you, what are you doing? And so he might just be getting to the age where he kind of needs to be retired, unfortunately. So we are gonna give him a few more months. Um, we're gonna introduce two different males to our colony to breed with females. If we notice that our production of babies goes back up, then I am going to assume that Bubba here is just, what? This is one of my females that just loves me. Um, I'm gonna assume that Bubba just may be getting too old to produce anymore. Yes, we see you. I'm trying to close you up. What, do you want to come hang out? <laughs> Hello. Peekaboo. Yes, we see you. Go back in. <laughs> go back in. Uh, go back in. I got to close it up. Yes, I know. Excuse me. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Yeah, so, I mean, we're always worried about the females not producing and producing large litters and what they're doing. And I think a lot of times we overlook and forget about the males in our colonies. So, I mean, we absolutely love Bubba. If we do have to retire him out, um, we might think about keeping him just as a pet. He has a very, very mellow temperament. He doesn't bite. He actually enjoys being held. So. I don't know. I'll have to keep you guys updated in a future video, so, you know, in the next couple months on what we're going to do and decide to do. But yeah, we've had a steady decrease in the amount of litters lately, and I've just been noticing him just slowing down. So I'm hoping that's not the case, but it, if it is, we that's why we've started introducing new males into our colony. So hopefully we can get that production up. Um, we are looking at having our first snake eggs um, laid any day now. So we're going to need to get our production going. Um, because of that decreased production, I did have to go buy frozen thawed wraps for my entire collection of reptiles. And let me tell you, because of everything going on in our country, prices have already skyrocketed because most of the rodent breeders are small businesses. And so unfortunately, because of everything, the price of their materials in order to raise have gone through the roof and that makes prices go up. That's inflation people, that's how things work. So today on rats, in order to feed my reptile collection, I spent $200, $200. And this is why one of the main reasons we started breeding in the first place was not only to have rats readily available when we needed them, but it was also to decrease our overhead, our cost for feeding our collection because we are operating a business. And also it is very hard to find live rodents. The availability of rodents is, it, it, there just isn't availability. I've we are part of different groups in our local community and except for this one reptile place that only sells frozen thawed you cannot find rodents you just can't you either have to order them online or you have to drive great distances in order to find them which is why most breeders if you have a collection that's at least 15 snakes or more that is why this makes sense and a lot of breeders um, or even hobbyist breeders tend to raise their own rats, even though it can be a pain in the butt and it is a lot of extra maintenance, it makes sense just for the cost and the availability of rats. So that was just a little update on how our colony is doing and what we're doing around here. So we didn't really do an update on our mice today because there hasn't really been much changes. Um, I went to go look for a male for them and I was unable to find one. So we have a local friend who has offered to give us a mail. So I might end up taking up his offer and getting one here in the next few weeks. So I will sure make a video on when we introduce a male to our mice, our little small mice. I don't even know if you want to call that a colony. There's four of them. <laughs> but again, thank you for watching. As always, like the video if you liked it. If you have any 
comments, questions, concerns, please feel free to leave a comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. So again, thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay sane, get out there and make your own footprints. Bye.